Definitely Agent Ray's... Better ring the doorbell. Hello? How can I help you? Federal agent. What do you know about the body by the river? I'm sorry, this isn't a good time to chat. So, if you'll excuse me, I need to talk to my sister about the will reading before heading out. She's waiting for me in the library. Well, okay. Just don't leave town. Better ring the doorbell. I really can't talk right now. Still dealing with family issues. Maybe you can come back later. Okay then. I'll be back. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice, every day. Where the hell have you been, Dolores? We're all here waiting for you so we can start the reading of Uncle Chuck's will. Take a chill pill, Lenore. I had to answer the door. It was one of those federal agents. I don't care if it was the flippin' Pope. 
Let's get on with it, sister. I want to know what I got. Wait, I thought you said everyone was here. Where's the lawyer? I don't know. I thought he was coming with you. <sighs> oh, Lenore, you're useless. Has anyone tried calling him? Well, maybe if you hadn't left town and broken Uncle Chuck's heart, we wouldn't need to call the lawyer to read a will. This is all your fault, Dolores. It's already closed. It feels lonely without Uncle Chuck around. I'm not going to carry this big checkbook around. It's a receipt from the town's electronics store. One vacuum tube puller paid in full. Uncle Chuck was a strange and complicated person. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multi-band oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. It's a stub from a check that Uncle Chuck wrote. It's the stub of a check that was made out to an attorney, Brant Balowick. 
Payment in full for will and reading. Hi there, this is Brant Bailiwick, JD. Do you have legal problems? Then you've come to the right place. I'm out of the office today, prepping for ThimbleCon 87. Try me later. I'm at the staircase. Should I use it? I'm at the staircase. Should I use it? Okay, we got off on the wrong foot. Let's try again. It's good to see you again, sis. It's been too long. And whose fault is that, sweetie? I'm certainly not the one who abandoned the family in their hour of need. Also, have you called the stupid lawyer yet? I want to get the will read and see how little Uncle Chuck left you. Do you know anything about Dad's disappearance? Dad probably ran off to hide somewhere. It's amazing that Dad and Uncle Chuck were cut from the same genes. One a powerful leader, and the other, well, uh, spineless. Don't talk about Dad like that, Lenore. You're so cruel. So Uncle Chuck really hated me? Can you flip and blame him? You broke his heart when you left to become a you-know-what. A game developer? Oh, shh, shh, shh. Do you want the whole house to hear? I think we're done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Doug, what are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the entryway. Mostly holes, but then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores! Tonight. <laughs> 
It's in here pretty tight. I'd need an LFG-1982 tube puller. It's a receipt from the town's electronics store. One vacuum tube puller paid in full. Uncle Chuck was always very touchy about this painting. Wonder why? It's a fingerprint reader to open the safe. It only works for Uncle Chuck. It's a spare AT25 tube. Very rare, hard to find. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multi-band oscilloscope with phase memory. I don't have a reason to use Uncle Chuck's oscilloscope. Nothing in here but broken Tron 3 Nothing in here but broken Tron 3000 vacuum tubes. Nothing in here but broken Tron 3000 vacuum tubes. It says Philips dangerous device and it has a red button and a speaker on it. I don't think I should use this. It says it's dangerous. There's nothing inside. 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 There's nothing inside.
digging. Hello, Agent Reyes. Catch the killer yet? Not yet. But we're getting close. Then Thimbleweed Park will be safe again. I thought about being a secret agent, but game design seemed more fun. It's a rewarding job. Nah, I need to go. Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's Tubes. How can I help you? Hi, Ricky. Here's an old receipt. Know anything about tube pullers? Hmm. I seem to remember a tube puller that we got from Smart Buy Electronics. We bought up all their inventory when they went under. Yes, here it is. This is a top-of-the-line tube puller. Your uncle always bought the best. Yes, he did. Thank you, Ricky. It's a TX-1138 tube, all fresh and shiny.
It's the wrong size tube. This is a TX1138 size tube. That's using an AT25. That should fix it. No thanks. Better leave it where it is. Always time to do laundry later. It's an attempted delivery notice. I'll just leave it where it is. That way I can... That's just my eviction notice from five years ago. Every time that sheriff tries to kick me out, I give him hell. He's afraid to come back. I need to be higher to jump on it. I won't pick up some greasy, disgusting, inedible piece of popcorn if I can't put it in something. Well, that's one. Lil Beeper loves this crap. Okay, two. I can count. Am I really gonna pick up all this crap? The rats having more fun at this than I am. Not even half full yet. This sucks. Almost half full. Half full now. This is taking too long. At this rate, it'll be 1988, but this is gonna take forever where's the rat taking the popcorn where's the rat taking the popcorn that doesn't seem to work Can't pull that. Looks like a rat hole. I can't get there from here. There's another way. That doesn't seem to work. I don't want to pick that up.
That's where the mid that's where the midway used to be. Now it's my garbage dump. It's my tube of Coslerix patented anti-itch medicine. Works wonders. That's a rare first edition of my fantastic comic book. I can't leave the circus till I feed Lil Beeper. Come back here. Hey! Stop! Damn broken window. That's not gonna be enough for a little beeper. He can eat that much crap in two seconds. That's not gonna be enough for a little beeper. He can eat that much crap in two seconds. It's a full bag of popcorn! Here you go, little beeper. Enjoy your crap. That's too far to jump from here. That's too far to jump from here. I need to be higher to jump on it.
Thimbleweed Park Guided Tours. Hey, George, you lazy f I want to pick up my package. Let me see that. Okay, one moment. And next time, deliver it to me in person. What do you think I pay my tax dollars for? You haven't paid your taxes in years. What do you think sorts all outgoing mail? Well, f you. It, it's addressed to me, Ransom the Clown. Nerd. Ah. Uh. Hi, Ransom. Sorry to hear about your Uncle Chuck. Thanks. Uncle Chuck was a complex person. I was just kidding. I'm not sorry. He was a... <sighs> Please leave me alone, Ransom. Off. I'm tired of talking. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? It's already open. I'm not gonna jump on that without a spotter. Safety first. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? as far to the left as I can move it. I'll have to push it to move it to the right. Got the page stuck back into the joke book. Got the page stuck back into the got the page stuck back into the got the page stuck back into the joke book. That doesn't seem to work. There's a note inside. Dear Mr. Clown. We hereby return your defective samples. The wallet seems to be made out of a rare endangered species of bird, and the candy dispenser sparks whenever you use it. Please do not contact us again. What a bunch of wads. It's the official Ransom the Cloud candy barfer. It's supposed to dispense one piece of candy each time you use it, but it emits deadly sparks instead!
Ah, the f of a still doesn't work. Well, at least I tried. Have you seen my dime? Buy me some kombucha? Here's a new wallet with my picture on it. Oh, a Ransom the Clown wallet. Thanks. Here's my old one. What am I gonna do with this piece of change? Thimbleweed Park guided tours? I'm not going to touch that computer. <laughs> 